going on display in Victoria Revealed is an emerald and diamond tiara, a matching brooch, necklace and pair of earrings, a diamond tiara which we call the Kokoshnik tiara because it's Russian in style, and finally the Fife tiara. We've worked with the Crown Jeweller to prepare these pieces for display using traditional jewellery techniques and materials. The tiara has arrived with us in rather nondescript cardboard boxes. The cardboard boxes had garage stamped on the top. The Fife tiara is an amazing example of craftsmanship. As part of the cleaning process, the Crown Jeweller removed the larger pear drop diamonds at the front of the Fife tiara and cleaned them individually using a small handheld jeweller's polishing tool. As the tiaras were being cleaned with the brush, you could see the silver tarnish being removed and the glistening silver underneath. I've been fascinated to learn about the mechanics of the tiaras, particularly the fringe tiara. The tiara comes with a bespoke key, which is inserted into each end of the tiara and then slowly loosened and this allows the tiara to fall off its frame very gently and then the frame can be removed and then the piece becomes a necklace. It may not look like it now but a few of the large emeralds that adorn the top of the emerald tiara were slightly loose so to make them safe for display we re-adhered them with a conservation adhesive. One of the interesting things about emeralds is that although they look magnificent and robust, actually they're one of the more fragile gemstones. And I was told that if you drop a diamond it will bounce, but if you drop an emerald it will shatter. One of the things we've learned about the earrings during this process is that the large emerald drop on one of the earrings has been replaced at some point between the 1840s and today. We're not quite sure when it happened, but the craftsmanship on the replacement is very high quality and we believe it did happen quite some time ago. It's been an absolute highlight for me to be able to work with these objects. I hope that our visitors will enjoy looking at these royal gifts and to understand the beauty that went into their design and the affection with which they were given.